Hi. Hi. Uh, so can you tell me a bit about what you've studied uh, and where you work? Uh, so I finished my B Pharm. Uh, after that, I did my M Pharm, specializing in pharmacology. I've also done a PG diploma course in intellectual property rights. Uh, did a few courses on Coursera here and there. Uh, so currently, I'm working in the pharmacovigilance field for approximately six years. Okay. So, any reason why you chose pharmacy? Uh, not really. I from the beginning, I knew I wanted to work in the medical field, but I didn't want to become a doctor. So, I explored a few paramedical fields, and pharmacy seemed like the best choice. Okay. So, uh, like after you did your B farm. Uh, did you have any work experience or? Yeah, so after I did my BFAM, I wanted to pursue MS in US or overseas. So I uh, did an internship with the uh, Serum Institute of India for about a year. And uh, after that, I did apply for, a, for my master's. I gave my GRE, I applied for master's. I didn't get a scholarship, however, so I didn't really want to put in so much money, take a loan. So I opted for M Farm uh, in India. Okay. And like, what are the different exams or tests that one has to go through uh, to do B Farm or M Farm in India? Right. So usually, uh, one centralized test for M Farm would be a uh, GPAT, and a lot of universities have their own entrance tests. So for me personally, uh, I didn't give any centralized exams, which a lot of people find very weird. But uh, I gave uh, med entrances to a few different universities. Mm -hmm. So I didn't give like a specific exam for it. Okay. Any reason why I didn't do the centralized exam? No reason as such. Uh, at that time, I didn't feel I was ready to sit for the exam. Okay. Uh, my preparation was not at par. So that's the reason I didn't opt for it. Okay. Uh, so in order to work in so pharmacovigilance, since you're working in it, like what are the different uh, educational paths one can take to work uh, in pharmacovigilance? Uh, so usually, for any field you within pharmacy you want to work for, except uh, unless you have a business, a lot of people want you to at least have a master's degree. So same for pharmacovigilance, they prefer masters. A uh, very few uh, companies would uh, opt be farm candidates, but they they're very few. So a majority of the universities would want you to have an farm. A uh, majority of the companies would want you to have an M farm degree. Okay. So, say for example, if a person has done just D farm, then they would probably not get a job in. Uh, probably not. Farm D, you would, but not with D farm. Okay. What's the difference between the two? So, D farm is a diploma course. You don't get a like a proper bachelor's or a master's degree. On the other hand, Farm D is like a doctorate of pharmacy. Oh. So it's like a step above B Farm, but mm -hmm. not somewhere between B Farm and M Farm. Which between uh, B Farm and yeah. M Farm. Okay. A lot of people also would, you know, do masters after that, but a Farm D degree would be equivalent to a masters, I would say. Oh, okay. You need to have, of course, a basic knowledge of pharmacy is a must but you need to have good communication and English skills.